Kristen and it is time for my review anew of the BoxyCharm from November and the new one from December. I've been running around my house like a chicken with my head cut off this morning. I, uh, I mentioned in my favorites video, I'm not sure which one you're seeing first, but I am getting sick. I have determined this morning that it's uh, not getting better, it's getting worse, and so I needed to film a couple videos this morning before I got right in the throes of probably another sinus infection. Having said that, um, let's go ahead and get into the products from last month. If you are new to one of these videos of mine, I will review the products from the box I was sent last month. I do get these boxes sent to me for free um, and tell you whether I liked the product, whether I, did, whether I didn't, and then show you the new products I'll be trying out for the next month. All right, having said all that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm waving this thing around, so we'll start out with this. This is by Skin, S-K-Y-N, Iceland, and it's the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. And a little product like this. I don't know if this is a full size or not. I doubt that this is a full size, but I'll try to list here if I can find out for you. It's the 0.14 US ounce, um, 3.97 grams. I so, feel like all the products usually in box trim are full size, so it might be a full size. Um... So I just want to speak to the product because I normally I keep the card and I don't currently have the card. I want to try to twist this up a little bit without <laughs> showing you. So I, I I like the dispensing method. I think that works well and you can, you know, just squeeze up what you want, put it underneath your eye. It's a very thick, I'm going to try to not waste this. It's a very thick eye cream. So you have to kind of work it into your skin a little bit. But I have to say, I do like it. I feel like it's a little bit thick for me. Um, it might be a tad too moisturizing. And I wonder if I use it for a long period of time, if I would get kind of that, what is that called? Maligny, you know what I mean. The little white bumps if you use too much, or if you use an eye cream that's too much for you. So I would be afraid I might get some of that if I used it too much, but I do really like this. It was a good product. You, I woke up in the morning and you could really feel the fact that um, my, you know, my under eyes were moisturized and I felt like concealer went on very nicely over it and didn't crease or anything like that. So I like that. That was a winner. Here's a product that was not a winner in the slightest. This is the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream. So this looks pretty and when I wore it, the first day I wore it on Snapchat, everybody loved the color. And I will show it to you again here. So there's the shade. Stunning, right? This product, I'm going to grab a napkin or a Kleenex I'm talking to, it never dries down. It's sticky and tacky and when you rub your, like when you just talk or whatever and your lips would come together, it like pulls apart on it. it mm -mm. Nope, that was not it a does, winner. However, I kind of have it wiped off. It does, however, stain, which is kind of nice. But the only way that would really work is if you put it on and then wipe it off right away. I did not like that in the slightest. That one was not, oops, excuse me, was not a winner for me. All right, the next thing was this Vintage by Jessica Lieb... <laughs> Liebskind? I don't know. Liebskind. <laughs> so this is the highlight right here. It's very pretty. It... You know what it reminds me of? They have a mineralized skin finish in flush that it kind of reminds me of. There it is right there. I like it. It's very pretty. I feel like it's a little bit overpriced for what it is, but the product is pretty. The other thing is that it I feel like it fades throughout the day. So this was not one of my favorite most products that I have ever gotten in a, in a boxy charm. Um, there's a brush in here that I, I did use and wash and use and wash. So I love, it's by Crown, sorry, and it's the C513. I like this little dip in it, believe it or not. It works really well for it. And can you see that? What is on my hand? Mascara. Um, I really like how that works and it's a pencil brush. There's nothing specific, you know, like miraculous about this brush. It's a very nice brush. Um, has comes to a nice point, which is nice for um, smoking out underneath your lower lash line. But I gotta tell you, the thing I like most about it is that little thing right there, and then there's one on this side as well. And it just, I don't know, it just works really well. I really like it. Lastly so. was the Studio On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, these are so good. I really like these. This one was cooler than the other one. Um, I'm gonna give you a swatch of all of these shades. So there are the first three. The next three, and I'll show you them all at the end on my hand. And the last three, I love this shade right here. So pretty. And the, the one smack in the middle, the transition shade. 
And this is one swipe of all of them. Really, really, really good. I've been so impressed. This palette sells for $50, I think. Um, and the cost of the box is only $22. I just, I know I've said it before. And yes, they send it to me for free. But I really like this box. I don't know. I just think it's good. However, <laughs> not that this next box is bad, but I was like, whew, there's some interesting choices in this next box. So let me wipe this off of my hand and let's get going on this next one. It says makeup on point and it shows point ballet um, shoes. Little known fact, I took ballet for seven years. And it has all of the products. It's kind of in a, the font of this kind of reminds me of Kat Von D, doesn't it? Anyway, answer me. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna pull out of here is this Makeup Geek eyeliner pencil. And the only thing I have for Makeup Geek is eyeshadows from way, way back in the day. I've not tried anything from her line in a really long time. Who, buddy? I I would have thought it might have been blue, but it's not. Or might have been black, but it's not. It's a blue. It's a very pretty blue. I'm looking for a name here. It's in cobalt, which is how I would have described it. So are these waterproof or anything? It doesn't say. Um, it sells, says that it sells for $9. It doesn't say that it's waterproof, so I would imagine that it is not. Um, let's go ahead and pull this So up. this is the Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection, and it's one of these. So I have the Pure Cosmetics Nude Collection that I got in a different box somewhere along the line. Maybe a FabFitFun box, and I've not had the opportunity to try that yet. This one, one as you can imagine, and I no longer have that to show you, but this is Naked 3. A dupe for the Naked 3. And let's see how much this normally sells for. Um... $50, which is the same price, I think, as a Naked within a couple of dollars. So, this box sells for $21.99 or something. I think the price varies a little bit by a couple of dollars depending on how many months you sign up for, but it's such a great value. So, you get back-to-back -back months. We've gotten a palette, and just a couple months ago, we got that other palette. So, the, <laughs> there is that. I will probably, because I didn't like the Naked 3, it has nothing to do with... Um, the it has product. to do with the shades. I just, I just, I don't know. There were, I just didn't love the Naked 3. I don't, I don't know. But at any rate, I will probably, um, give this one away, um, to one of you in my review next month. You know what? Let's just do it right here. Beca and I won't review that product, obviously. So if you are interested in winning this palette, leave me a comment below. And I will pick a, a winner in like a week or so. I'll leave all the information below. But So if you're interested in this, I will give this away. I don't want to swatch in it so that um, somebody else can use it. I just Those shades just aren't my preference. But I am very much in the minority on that. All right. The next thing... <laughs> whoo, buddy. You guys are going to probably just not know what to do with yourselves if you see this on my lips. Uh, but I'm going to have to wear it in order to try it. So this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Napa Valley. Oh boy. I'll do it. <laughs> so that's the shade right there. It, is it say metallic? It doesn't say metallic, but it does seem to have a little something something to it. So. Oh boy. Be sure to tune in for that one. Alright, the next thing is the, it says Beauty For Real. Lip Revival Exfoliate Hydrating Lip Scrub. I find it interesting that it can be exfoliating and hydrating all at the same time. So it's a little, comes in a little plastic pot. It smells kind of minty and kind of medicinal all at the same time, so I will let you know on that. And lastly is a beautiful shade from Butter London. And this is in the shade Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. I mean, just gorgeous. I normally put gels on my nails, but I'll have to put this on so I can try this. Um, I've love, I love Butter London nail polishes. I think that they are one, probably, I only have a few, but they're one of my favorite formulas because I find them to be very creamy and they go on nice and opaque for the most part. Quick calculation, I think this is $108 worth of product. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's a <laughs> of all the boxes that I get, I really like the Fat Fit Fun one, but like of the ones I've gotten in the past, with Birchbox, Ipsy, Sephora Play, all of those things, I just feel like this is the best value. Um, so I will put the link below um, that I have. You can use my link. You can use somebody else's link. If you use my link, I get five dollars um, for you using my link. Thank you to those of you that did. A lot of you did after last month. I really appreciate that. Um, it just helps support the channel. Um, but again, you don't have to use mine. Go find anybody's. I, I will list. I will list the my link.
below and I will also link just the plain old you know boxy charm link below. Whew. You can tell it's been a long morning for me of getting a couple videos filmed before work so now comes the time when I tell you what's on my face and I was like searching for the blush forever because I stuck it in my boxy charm. On my face today is the uh, Giorgio Armani Cheek Tint in number 506. On my eyes is the Natasha Denona number 4 palette. And also on my cheeks is the Algenist Highlight in Rosé. Mm. So pretty. And I think that's everything. So, Oh, on my lips is the Doll um, 10 in Miss Bliss and Doll Code. It's a little duo here, so. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.